is Nicole, guys. She's <laughs> from Curacao. You can so. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, we finally meet in Singapore. Finally. Yes. It so. took how many months? A mm. while. It's April? Four four months? Months, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, four months, yeah. Well, you've been traveling since November yeah. 2018. Yes. And uh, you have been traveling two months ahead of me, and I actually know your mother from Curacao. Yeah. And she told me, hey, by the way, you're doing a six months tour in Asia, and my daughter is also doing the same <laughs> trip in Asia. Why don't you contact her? So you should I meet up. We should meet up. <laughs> and we kept texting each other since November, and you yeah. told me, hey, I'm going this time. And we actually had the same track. We started in Thailand, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and then you went to Laos. Vietnam, yeah. Cambodia, yeah, and then you're here in Singapore. Now Singapore, now yeah. Singapore. and then I did the same track, but I did last time in Vietnam, a shorter time in Cambodia. I went to Indonesia, now here and Malaysia, and then in Singapore. And finally, we met. In Singapore. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of wanted to do this interview with you to share to the people in Curacao and around the world to share why you decided to do this back backpacking trip. It's a one-way ticket, right? Uh, yeah. Tell, yeah. us, tell us about it. Um, so I moved to the Netherlands nine, now nine and a half years ago. Um, I finished high school in Curacao. I went to the Netherlands and I met a lot of people who had done a gap year. And I'd never heard of the word gap year before. And everyone, a lot of people had come to Southeast Asia and I was like, oh wow, that sounds really cool. Um, so I decided when I finished my studies, I would come to Southeast Asia. I ended up studying for a long time. I ended up working as well for several years and then finally um, decided to make a career switch. Um, I was in the legal field. I wasn't enjoying it. So I quit everything, um, gave up my apartment, sold clothes, sold art, sold a bunch of stuff to save money um, to come here. And I've been here since November 21st. Oh, wow. Wow. And yeah. And now you've been to all the countries we've mentioned. Yeah. Where else are you planning on going after this? I am going to Malaysia tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, only for a short uh, time, just one week. Yeah. Then to Phuket in Thailand, then Bali for two weeks. And then in a month, plus or minus, I'm flying to Australia. Yeah. And I'll be working there for one year. From one year, guys. Do you hear that? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> she started a backpacking trip one way, now decided to move to Australia for a year. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah, I'm what very excited. I know. I'm excited about <laughs> for you. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So, you, one of the key words you said is that you quit your job yeah. and you saved money. Yeah. Right? Is that what it takes to take a backpacking trip like this? I think... I think you need to feel ready for it. I, I wanted to do this for a really, really long time um, and I never felt ready for it. But I think when you, you need, with wanting something, you need to reach a moment of wanting it enough to give up things you love for it. I made a lot of sacrifices to come here um, and I was, I had reached the point where I was ready to do that. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. So far it's been really good, but it's not easy, you know, making the choice to do that isn't easy. Backpacking isn't always easy. Sometimes it's sometimes you're tired. Uh, sometimes you just want some comfort. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you want a private room. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's not always easy, but it's so worth it. Um, yes, yeah. So exactly. far, it's been exactly. really, really great. Exactly. And it's, it has been easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, I thought that it would be a lot more difficult than it was. I was a lot more afraid. Um, and the moment that I landed in Bangkok in November, I just felt. Yeah just happy, yeah, yeah. just at ease, yeah. just like, oh, this is yeah. where I'm supposed yeah. to be. And I was nervous myself when I started because I remember texting, yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm so nervous, I don't know yeah. what to expect. You're like, no, you'll feel at home. But that's the thing is, that's what, like, I like talking about the fact that I was nervous because I feel like I, over the years, I met a lot of backpackers while I was traveling mm -hmm. and no one talks about that it is scary to go. Like, no one says oh, I was really nervous or, oh, I was scared. We're all scared, yeah. but no one says it. Right. And that can make you feel like you're the only one who's afraid. Exactly. And then I came out here and I was like, no, yeah. there's, the more I speak to other backpackers, everyone says they were nervous. Yes, yes. Everyone Everybody, was nervous. Everybody. And everyone got here, luckily, or most people got yeah. here and luckily had a great time. Right, right, right. And, but, but I think we're all nervous. Exactly. And what you know what I feel too is that there is a misconception of what backpacking means. Backpacking is not just yeah. like you're camping on the streets. No. <laughs> no. I mean, it means, you know, just you're carrying 
a backpack for a long time. Yeah. For months. Yeah. And you're perhaps staying in hostels or shared dorms. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I do some private hotels sometimes Once when I'm tired. While. Once oh, in a while. Definitely. I need my space, right? But definitely. sometimes it can feel lonely as well. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm back to hostels with yeah. some people, right? Yeah. yeah. So what does backpacking mean to you? Um, ooh. Um, I don't know. For, uh, adventure, but also community. I, I haven't actually been alone in four and a half years months um i've met people really quickly the fact that we're all out here far away from family in a different kind of space in a foreign place um means that you bond with people very quickly exactly um so i've made friends really quickly spent weeks traveling with them yeah. i've met people that i really really love yeah. um and i think that's what i enjoy the most is is the community it's yeah. the people that you meet um yeah. and the yeah the adventures that you have together on the way yeah. that like yeah. make you right. become friends right and also like you see people in like Lao and then you bump into them back yes. in Cambodia. Have yeah. you had that too? Oh yeah. The yeah. the Southeast Asia circuit is so small. Yeah. I have met a lot of people even just two weeks ago I met someone that I had met in November. Yeah. yeah um, incredible. And that's just really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had that too. That's amazing. Yeah. So you corso. You corso. What an ampun travel di Unabota. What do you say when they ask you where you're from? Well, yeah, <laughs> what does Curaçao mean? It's a big difficult to hear. Um <laughs> Usually, it depends on who it is. I've been to some very small villages where explaining that I'm from the Caribbean just doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. um, but usually what I'll say is, I'm from the Caribbean. It's a small island called Curacao. It's in the south. Um, and then some people sort of know what I'm talking about. Most people have no idea. So then I will explain. I'll say, oh, you know, we're part of the Dutch kingdom, blah, blah, blah. And I explain how many islands we are. We have our own language, Papiamento. I'd let them, I usually say a sentence so that they can hear what it sounds like. Um, but yeah, some people know it from Blue Curacao. <laughs> yeah. The I only that. people that know where it is, it's like, oh, like the liquor? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yes, I sure. That too. Yeah, I <laughs> like, Blue yeah. Curacao. Blue Curacao. Blue Curacao. Yeah, and like, that's I think that's the that's the main thing is everyone has a different pronunciation. They know it as Curacao, Curacao, Coroco, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh no, it's Curacao. Yeah, Curacao. Just yeah. so you know, it's yeah, Curacao. Yeah. <laughs> and have you had the sayings that, that that they say tell you or these these they they actually pronounce or say? Hmm, is that Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh yeah. <laughs> have you oh yeah, that? yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I've heard that a lot. The only way I can explain to people who don't know what the Caribbean is. I say, you know Pirates of the Caribbean? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that area of the world. And they're like, okay, like Cuba. I'm like, yeah, sort of, sort but of. not really. Well, nearby, nearby. Nearby, yes, near enough, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another trick that has worked for me is, do you know America? South and North America? Well, the ocean in We're between. We're in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> that ocean is Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. But yeah, it's very yeah. interesting to share where we're from and uh, yeah. we're very excited here in Singapore. Look at that Ta -da! background back there, the Marina Bay <laughs> Sands here Not in Singapore. Bad. And we have another friend back there from Holland. Hi. So <laughs> it's not just you per so, but people yeah. from around the world, guys. So be inspired to travel and represent a yeah. so. <laughs> Doei! Ayo! Bye. Bye. Ayo! Bye.